Welcome everybody and thank you so much for joining us to learn more about Bees MS Nutrition and Brigham and Women's Hospital Dietetic Internship Partnership Program. Today we will be joined by myself. My name is Alexandra Monroe. I'm the Director of Graduate Enrollment and it is my pleasure to welcome our webinar pa panel. We have Mary Jane Staniak, who is a senior lecturer and BDI director here at Boston University, as well as Mary Ellen Kelly, who's an associate director of uh, the Brigham and Women Hospital Dietetic Internship. So I'm excited to pass it along to my colleague, Mary Jane, to tell you a little bit more about our program and the partnership. Thank you so much, Alessandra, and welcome everyone. We're excited that you're taking a few minutes here to learn about this great partnership. As a student and an intern in this partnership, you'll be able to study and train in Boston, Massachusetts, which is one of America's best college town and a medical mecca. Uh, in this program, you'll complete the MS in nutrition and the dietetic internship in 22 to 24 months. You only need to apply once and you will have a guaranteed DI placement at one of the best hospitals in the world after successfully completing the MS degree. During this partnership program, you'll have the opportunity to customize your experience in a few different ways. One, you have the opportunity to create your own concentration with the help of a faculty advisor. So you create your own MS concentration. Um, there are opportunities for elective courses, an optional practicum course, and an opportunity, an optional one, to study abroad. As well, when you're over at Brigham and Women's, there are specialty rotations that you can take advantage of. When you've completed this partnership, you will be ready. Um, you'll have met the standards for uh, really high performance in any area of the food and nutrition world. Um, so you'll be ready to go anywhere once you've done this, prog this program. So you may be wondering who's an ideal candidate for this program. Students who have or will have completed an accredited DPD program or an international equivalent are eligible to apply for this program. We're looking for applicants who have a strong academic foundation and are well prepared for the rigor of the graduate degree at Boston University. This program is really well suited for applicants who have a strong interest in clinical nutrition and those who value the diverse clinical experiences that are offered over at Brigham and Women's. We're looking for candidates who demonstrate strong qualities in leadership, self-direction, interpersonal skills, and conceptual ability. We'd love to just share a little bit about what makes this partnership so unique. So as Mary Jane mentioned, you are combining Boston University's prestigious graduate degree with our dietetic internship here at Brigham and Women's Hospital. It is a world-renowned program, a Harvard-affiliated medical center, and actually one of the oldest dietetic internships in the country, um, over 100 years old. It trains you to evaluate and implement the results of current research, solve problems, and communicate effectively. So it really is sort of pulling it all together with all the skills you need to be a successful dietitian. You experience a team approach in clinical nutrition care, which, a little, which is a little bit unique here at the Brigham. So you are communicating with and collaborating with the interdisciplinary care teams. But in addition to that, our nutrition department is broken up into teams to work together so that dietitians are really learning from each other and collaborating and gathering experience and information from other dietitians throughout the hospital. So there's a ton of collaboration both within nutrition and then across the other disciplines. You enter into the field upon completion with your MSRD. You are strongly prepared to meet the standards of performance in any area of food and nutrition practice, especially with our strong clinical backbone, you'll have that strong clinical foundation. 
So this is sort of what the two years will look like for you. If you take a look at the program structure that we have here, in that first year, you'll be participating in your master's degree coursework at Boston University. Um, so you'll do that in the fall, and then you'll do that in the spring. You see the credit hours listed there. And then in the following year, sec your second year is when you actually do your dietetic internship here with us at the Brigham. We do have two start dates. So we have six interns will start in August of that year, and then six interns will start in October. And then the graduation dates reflect that. So the first class will end in June, and that next class will end in August. Thanks so much, Mary Ellen. So now that you've gotten a, an overview of the partnership, um, what that looks like, we're now going to break it up into the two different steps. So step one, you, after being accepted, um, you complete that one application, you get your offer, and you're going to come over to Boston University and work on your graduate degree. Boston University is located in the heart of Boston. If you're familiar with, with Boston, um, or if you're not, we hope um, you, you come and pay us a visit. The campus runs um, up and down Commonwealth Avenue, which is one of the main um, roads in, in the city of Boston. And so you see that, that picture there up to the, to the top. Um, and for those of you who are interested in clinical nutrition, um, again, this would be a, a great program for you. You could choose to do your concentration in clinical nutrition while you're here. In this picture here on the um, bottom left is our simulation center. And in this picture, Professor O'Brien is training our students on nutrition-focused physical assessment. So Sargent College, which is where our program resides, is one of Boston University's 17 colleges. So within Sargent College, we share this space and um, this learning opportunity with future healthcare providers in occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech language, and hearing sciences, and then of course our um, nutrition students as well. The reason that I mentioned these other um, uh, areas of, of study is because that affords our students who are studying in the nutrition program the opportunity while at Boston University to begin their um, study and understanding of interprofessional education. And that's really a, a great foundation that sets you up for more advanced interprofessional practice once you're in your dietetic internship. I showed you a picture of the state-of-the-art um, clinical simulation center, and collectively, Sargent College has 35 research labs and clinical education centers and over 18 million in grant funds received on a rolling yearly average. The MS curriculum, I mentioned there's an opportunity for you to build your own concentration. So there are five core courses that are required for everyone. Those include biostatistics, metabolic regulation, nutritional epidemiology, a life course approach course, either to nutrition and disease prevention or community nutrition, nutrition research. Those are all required regardless of your concentration. We believe these are the background for any graduate degree in uh, nutrition. And so you can see there's a lot of opportunities for you to uh, meet the, the other requirements to add up to your minimum 32 credits. You build those other credits in coursework that is of interest to you. So some examples of what recent students have built their concentration in, many have, have chosen the clinical concentration. Others have chosen a concentration in counseling, sports nutrition, public health, uh, public health nutrition or nutrition research or communications or media. And so um, the, this is in a finite list. You really have the opportunity to be creative. Uh, we had one student who focused um, their concentration in maternal and child development. And so there's there's no limits to how you build your concentration. And um, you may have two students doing the same concentration and they build that concentration with different coursework. So a lot of flexibility. There's also the opportunity to participate in our summer study abroad course in Italy and you receive graduate elective credit for that as well. Many students in the program 
choose to do a practicum. Um, it's not required, um, but it is one of the coveted experiences for those that actually choose to do so. This is an opportunity before you get to your dietetic internship to explore an area in the profession that's of interest to you. So over the course of an entire semester, you work hand in hand with a registered dietitian or um, another health professional working on their uh, their line of work. And this allows our students to uh, really get a rich experience because of the, the continuity there from, um, you know, that whole semester experience. So usually about 10 hours, a little bit more each week, you are devoting to your work. Um, we have over 50 affiliate sites that are available, and they range from clinical opportunities through um, the gamut there, including community, culinary nutrition, eating disorders, food service management, industry, media and communications, nutrition research, private practice, and the school setting. And you see a couple of pictures here that this top picture is one of our students um, who had a research-focused practicum. And in the bottom picture here, this um, student was doing her practicum in um, over at Boston Medical Center, uh, working with one of the, um, the, ch the childhood programs. So teaching some nutrition and some culinary and, and really having fun um, in that setting. As a graduate student at Boston University, there are opportunities for you to participate in a variety of assistantships. So within our program in nutrition, we have several graduate assistantships that we um, actually offer as part of your um, application offer. So you would be notified of this when you receive your acceptance. Um, we also have opportunities for students to apply to be a teaching assistant, uh, to, to support our program. Um, these are all paid positions as a student ambassador, or um, we also have students help us run our social media platforms. There are also opportunities outside of our nutrition program for students to apply for other graduate assistantships. There are several at the fit, Fitness and Recreation Center. We have had students um, uh, receive those. And we've also had students in our program receive uh, resident assistantships through the housing office for, um, so that's not a, a paid position, but it's just as good or if not better because these positions provide housing and a meal plan or access to uh, a kitchen for you to do your own cooking. So a lot of opportunities to offset the cost of um, the graduate degree. I'm gonna turn it over to Mary Ellen and she is going to talk about what the next step is after you successfully complete the master's degree at Boston University. Thank you so much, Mary Jane. So as we move forward and take a look at what we're doing in that year at the Brigham, just a little bit of background information about our hospital. So we are a large urban teaching hospital. As I mentioned earlier, we're, we are an affiliate of Harvard Medical School. We are located not too far from Boston University. The area is called the Longwood Medical Area. So a lot of other medical centers and hospitals um, right in and around this area. Um, we're actually connected to some of the different ones. Um, so you can, in the winter, stay inside if you need to get to some of the other um, hospitals. Um, we are world renowned in virtually every area of medicine. So our mission statement is um, listed here and I'm just gonna read it um, so that we're clear on really the mission of the hospital and um, how our, or how our um, program aligns, our mission statement aligns with the mission of the hospital. So we, our DI is committed to providing the highest quality training in order to prepare entry level registered dietitians who will function Com competently, creatively, compassionately, and collaboratively in a dynamic healthcare environment and contribute to professional and community organizations. And I love this mission statement because we really are committed to that well-rounded practitioner who can take care of any type of patient. Here's just a quick overview of our program. It is an 11 month program with that high level cl clinical training that we've mentioned. You have individualized support from your preceptors. We have that unique team approach to clinical nutrition care that was also mentioned. 
Our preceptors, many of them are graduates of the program, and we say they are the backbone of our program. They are completely committed to really giving that individualized um, educational training to all of our interns. There um, is that one-on-one -on -one training with the preceptors. We also have class days, which I think makes our program incredibly special. We collaborate with other Boston area dietetic internships. So some of our class days are with them. Some of them are just our program, but we really are able to use these class days to tailor more education on areas that our current intern class might be more interested in. So experiences or examples may be more on pediatric nutrition or sports nutrition or specialized class on nutrition support to get a deeper dive into enteral and parenteral nutrition. There's also classes on sustainability. There's classes about how to write your resume and hit your cover letter and how to, you know, interview for jobs. So, so many different areas that really interest um, the interns and we can cover those in the class days if you're not getting that in your rotations. Um, we also have unique special rotation opportunities. So interns do have the opportunity to do a week in a rotation that they might not get um, in their regular rotation. So that could be sports nutrition, that could be with a private practice dietitian, that could be a little bit more with pediatrics or a wide variety of other interests that interns um, have presented to us. And then um, we do have 100% five-year average RD exam pass rate. And so what that statistic means is that within the first year of graduating from your dietetic internship, we do have a hundred percent first time pass rate within that first year. Um, and so this is a great little table just sort of showing um, the rotations and the number of weeks as the internship stands now. So you do come in, you get one full week of orientation. So that's really your onboarding and just sort of getting you set up in our system and making sure that um, all of your passwords and all of your logins and everything is set up so that you really feel ready to go and jump into rotations. And then the sort of layout of how these weeks unfold varies from intern to intern. As you can imagine, it's a big puzzle. So we're placing everybody in different rotations and rotating through these weeks at different times. But in the end, everybody completes um, really this entire chart here. So it's 19 weeks of inpatient acute care clinical. So you'll see three weeks of medicine, three weeks of surgery, three weeks of oncology. Those will go sort of as clinical one, two, and three, but they could be in various orders. Um, you have two weeks of renal and three weeks in the ICU and your senior staff experience, which is really an opportunity to function as an independent and autonomous registered dietitian. Um, of course, your dietitians will sign your notes because you're not yet registered, but you really get that autonomy towards the end of the internship of five weeks of senior staff experience. Um, in addition to those 19 weeks of acute inpatient care, you have a clinical nutrition independent study, which is a review of the research on a current topic that might interest you and interest our staff. You have four weeks of food service management. We do one business week where all of our interns will collaborate in groups to write a business plan. Um, our specialty weeks are listed here on the right. So we are at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Our preceptors are incredible over there. We have five weeks there. Again, it's attached to the medical center. Uh, we have two weeks of pediatrics and we have one week in research. So that's really working with a current researcher to see um, you know, what they're working on. Two weeks of bariatric surgery counseling and then that one week elective or special that I had mentioned. And then in ambulatory care and community nutrition, you have five weeks here at the Brigham at our NWS, our Nutrition Wellness Services Outpatient Clinics and which includes includes obstetrics, you have two weeks of community and there is a vacation week built into it as well. So some of the benefits of our dietetic internship are listed here. Um, as I said, really almost everything is here at the Brigham or attached to the Brigham or easily accessible by public transportation. We do have a discounted rate for um, our T-Pass, which is um, the car that you would use to use our transit system. Generous meal allowance at the hospital cafeteria, so you do get a card um, with a declining balance every single month that you can use um, to buy food here at the hospital. 
Um, we do pay for two conferences during the 11 months that you're here. So Boston Children's Hospital has an incredible annual pediatric conference that's two Mondays in the fall. And so we pay for your tuition to attend those. And then the Massachusetts Dietetic Association, also known as MAND, has an annual conference in the spring and all interns have um, tuition paid for to attend that conference, which is great networking and great continued education as well. Um, professional liability insurance is taken care of by the medical center. We have a wide variety of reference books to be utilized by the interns. We also provide um, RD exam prep materials at the end of the year. So those are provided to you so that um, in addition to all of your training, you have that um, materials to really get you ready for the exam. And then as I mentioned with time off, there is a one week vacation. In addition, you have the nine hospital holidays, which are listed on our website. And then you have the ability to take five personal days due to illness or vacation or personal time if you have anything going on that year. Great. So I will kind of walk us through exactly how you move forward and how to apply to these programs. So um, our application is going to be through DICAS. So you can either select BU as one of the schools that you're applying to within DICAS or go from our, um, our website into DICAS. Um, within the application, if you're interested in applying to the Brigham and Women DI Partnership Program, we'll ask that you select yes when asked what program you're interested in moving forward with or which DI uh, program you're interested in moving forward with. Within the application, we do have a handful of requirements. Um, first and foremost, our DPD verification statement or an international equivalent. Um, applicants should be currently working towards their DPD or international equivalent or already have one. Um, and uh, if you do not have one, you don't need to submit it when applying, but it has to be completed um, and sent to the DI director prior to the start of our academic year. In addition, we ask applicants to send all official transcripts directly to DICAS and not Boston University. Um, there will be instructions both listed in the application and our website on how to do that. Um, if you're an international applicant, DICAS will require a WES evaluation, course by course evaluation um, to be specific. We also have an overall GPA requirement of a 3.0 or higher. We request three letters of recommendation, and this is preferably from individuals who are familiar with your academic ability, like a professor um, or your professional work experience. So it could be a former manager or um, anything like that. I will say that we do prefer letters of recommendation to be submitted on institution or company letterhead and be signed by your recommender. So please keep that in mind. Um, we do ask for a copy of your resume and then have short answer essay questions that you will be able to complete. Um, we ask that you review the questions. There are several short answer essay questions that are required and they're all in our questions tab within program material. So you'll see that in the application. For our international applicants, we would require a TOEFL or an IELTS. Um, if your first language is not English, we would um, ask, or if you are, uh, if you have not completed a baccalaureate degree at an institution where the primary language was English. Just so you know, our minimum TOEFL score is at 100 and our minimum IELTS score is a seven. Um, GREs are not required for our application. In fact, if we do receive them, we don't review them in part of our holistic review process. Um, and select candidates will be invited to an interview via email um, from us after an application. Um, we uh, both at BU and at Brigham and Women offer multiple on-site and virtual information sessions, and we highly encourage you to attend them. We want you to be researching our programs to make sure it's really the best fit for you um, and your academic and professional goals. Um, so definitely do your research, both um, at all, all aspects of the program. Um, I also want to virtually introduce you to my colleague, Jasmine Samuels. She's our Associate Director of Green and <laughs> Graduate Financial Aid, excuse me. Um, her contact information is here and you'll see a QR code on your screen that will direct you to her Calendly where you can schedule an appointment to connect with her. Um, Jasmine is really great at getting you information regarding everything to do with the cost of attendance. So she can help you um, kind of figure out FAFSA if that's, if that's what you're looking for. She can guide you to our tuition and fees page, help you um, with federal loans, insurance, and really any question you have about financing your degree. Jasmine is going to be that person to, to help you through that and is a great resource for this information. 
Um, so last but not least, I encourage you again to contact us, um, ask questions, attend events. You'll see Mary Jane's uh, contact information here if you have questions about uh, the, the MS or even the DI. And Mary Ellen Kelly's contact information is here as well if you have uh, questions regarding the Brigham and Women's Hospital DI. Um, but we are very excited that you have stayed all the way through this whole entire presentation. We encourage and are excited to receive your applications. Um, and please reach out if you have any questions or concerns throughout your, your process of applying um, to this program. So thank you for, for joining us. And thank you to Mary and Mary Jane for, for leading this presentation.